Usher. They talk about his. Usher, I'm tired of Usher. Oh. Goofy bitch. No. Oh. Got your ass ripped open, and the only thing it inspired was loyalty. They ripped your ass open. They have come at Sean P. Diddy Combs with multiple allegations of abuse, sexual assault, and other incriminating activities that used to happen at his freak off parties. At least if you in the ATL and a nigga doing drugs in the ATL, the nigga at least excuse himself, go to the bathroom or some shit. Niggas in Hollywood just do the drugs right in front of you and act like ain't shit happened. You in the middle of a goddamn meeting. They, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the movie with you and then we're gonna, we're gonna go back. Motherfuckers be gay in Hollywood, you never fucking expected. They be having these big ass mansion parties, and the mansion party, the whole mansion is a party, and then it's a separate party in the little rooms. I ain't been famous that goddamn long. I'm excited in a motherfucker to be at the mansion party. You be looking in all the goddamn rooms, and you fuck around and look in the raw room and shit. Nigga, come here, come here. Is that two niggas kissing? Is one of them niggas Professor Opie? He came out the closet, he came out the closet. When news broke about the raids, 50 Cent turned to X or Twitter with screenshots of the news coverage. Now, it's not Diddy do it, it's Diddy Dunn, he wrote. They don't come like that unless they got a case. Later that day, 50 turned to Instagram with a post asking where Jay-Z was. Anybody seen Jay? LOL, 50 Cent captioned an image of a milk carton with Jay-Z's face on it. Jennifer is who told Puff to work with me. Jennifer Lopez, Lopez. okay. Christian, Jennifer was telling me, yo, he is dope. You work with him, like he's gonna, it's gonna, eventually it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. You know, and then Puff, that's what Puff told me. Down the door, but Puff can't even hear a hit. See, I know he can't. He couldn't. Puff can't hear a hit. That's kind of crazy. He still hear things from back then. That time. Oh, got now. you, got you now. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Got you. He can't buy the right. He can't. You play for him right now, and it's, it's hot. He can't buy it. This is why he fighting Drake. And you hit Drake because he uh, used the beat that he didn't yeah, actually zero use. Zero to one hundred. Right. You see what I'm saying? So if he like he heard it. And then you hear Drake's use it, but it wasn't a hit yet until Drake put the thing, the, the lines on it. He's upset about that because he, he can't hear it, but he felt like he took something. He says things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. He says something fabulous and he goes, yo, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> then when it's people gone. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> like, when you see, you see Jay, the kids put his head down like. <laughs> Why we we stuck here right now <laughs> and the cameras is rolling. Everybody see, don't make like it's just me, man. <laughs> Why he do some like a little fluffy stuff? Now going you guys on? Like he said, he said something to me one time a long time ago. He told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the f what the what you just say? <laughs> Let yeah. me move, man, before I do something. You're gonna make me mess up the wet. Let's Let me get out of no, dude, you take me that's <laughs> what a guy says to a girl. <laughs> See that? Of course, nah. I didn't see that. Nah, I didn't see it. You didn't see it? I swear to God. Uh, Come yeah. on, man. You saw that whole world. Hey, yo, and hey, on yo, the tram. Check, check this out. When they started playing the game, the pause game, I would definitely. That came from Harlem, too. By yeah, way. came from Harlem. I definitely would say some, oh my, whoa. The crowd would be like, whoa, did he just say that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't play games. Y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. I don't play games. But, um,. Yeah, Did the you compilation. Go? Nah, I was, I was coming off of being in Miami a night of party, and I don't really remember what I was saying. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would you like a reminder? Yeah, sure. Play some. Hey, yo, listen, yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like when you when oh, you scrambling right and scraping for no, no, no. shit. That was you. Scrambling. <laughs> you said, you said, what? You said, I like when you do it like that, Daddy. <laughs> when you scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. Hey. Nah, nah, I mean, I was You don't called, go back no, and no, look no. at that stuff and laugh? I mean, it's, I mean, it, it could be funny. I don't really be on it like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like. <laughs> I'm you sure know, we can put Charlemagne's I, compilation against Diddy's compilation. We have a bunch. We put yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I also, I also don't do it because I know I'm, I know I'm bad at the game. Right. <laughs> 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 I know I say like reckless stuff out my mouth that's just not maybe you know adding up to with somebody who maybe somebody who's homophobic, but I'm not homophobic and I really don't you know care. You know what I'm saying? I just. But um, I'm bad at the game, and it's probably hilarious. I would love to see it. I would love to see the video compilation. It's hilarious. 50, yeah. 50 came up here, and he was giving you flack for the asking Fab to party. So you, he'll ask you, oh, he'll ask you to play it, play it, play the clip, man. Yeah, play the clip. Go ahead. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we, we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And... No, but me and you ain't never really party, you know what I'm saying? I asked 50 about that. And he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a nice guy. Yo, what? I mean, why are you and Fib just... Hey, yo. Why y'all not... Hey, yo, I don't have no beef with... with, with, with I, I don't know why. With, with Fib, he loves me. He loves me. Do y'all really can't have see a beef? I mean, y'all can't see it. No, we can't see it. Y'all can't man. see that he loves me? But see, you really... Hold on, you really think that's hate? You really... When you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. Okay. But why? But why not? Y'all just y'all both passionate. Y'all both. I don't know. I, I, yo, check this out. I don't. I don't know. Like I don't. Both the same. No, we are not. Okay. We, we are not the same. <laughs> but, I mean, we are not cut the from the same cloth. You guys work and work hard. Yeah, and 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 um, you know, I mean, I respect that. I don't. I don't never hit him with no, you know, nothing. I don't even think of no other man, man. During a candid discussion on the Public Shay Shay podcast, Cat Williams suggested Diddy would be exposed in 2024. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. Do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. But I'm not scared of being the competition. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. They have all the assets and resources, and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, and see if that factors in. I guarantee you it won't. All of these shortcut takers, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my p in front of all my people at my agency. I told him no, what y'all do? And this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian, but in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I'm not taking the shortcuts. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. I came in this business saying I was gonna expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way, no way. Why they take it the wrong way? The truth is the light. I didn't have no more these. Amen, amen. Ye implies some celebrities are fats with the outburst referencing Diddy. I'm not, because I remember Pac, you know, used to talk about me. He didn't know me, but he's talking about me. And he, I mean, people, right when I say that, insert clip here. Tupac told me back in the days, you know, you had to get your money right and, and then you go to war. So I'm going to war. You know, I don't, I don't have, I don't have 
endless resources. I only have like maybe, a, you know, honestly, only maybe $120 million in my account. Everyone knows the exact quote, the exact that I'm, that I'm referring to. If you've seen those pocket interviews, you can just insert clip mm -hmm. there. Because I don't want to miss out. I don't want to be dead when the world starts getting good. I want to see it. Poison me, and by the way, y'all done already fuck with me so much. Y'all already black mirrored me. You already made everybody think I'm crazy. You already took my family away. You already separated all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends. Because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is, and the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public, and I didn't have the address of my child. None of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address, though? Travis gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't give a fuck who, because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be a do all that da, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my co-car. So y'all niggas shut the fuck up about me. Now, let me say it calm. You niggas shut the fuck up about, you shut the fuck up about Michael. Right. Usher sat down with Howard Stern in 2016, where he lifted the lid about living with Diddy for a year when he was just 13 years old. To New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn <laughs> some... Flavor Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say you that. Didn't, <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil Kim, Craig Mack. All you know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blosh. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> and, I, and, I, what I, and do you have money? What's <laughs> going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. Cassandra Ventura's name is everywhere due to both her lawsuit against former boyfriend P. Diddy, but also the recent release of the surveillance footage that showed him beating her. But Wendy Williams sounded the alarm on their relationship years earlier. So Puffy is 48, Cassie's 32, 11 years of her life. I was asked during our morning meeting, do I think that she wasted 11 years? I, I said, well, in a lot of ways, yeah, because you know, when you're in your 20s, like she, she probably doesn't know how to apply for a mortgage. No, no, you, no, you laugh. But I'm talking about the practical things of life. You know, doesn't know how to apply for a mortgage. Um, she's probably always been on his insurance. You know, so she needs an insurance car, a Cigna or something to get all checked out. <laughs> you guys are laughing. How to buy a car? Is is renting, leasing, or buying practical for her? Maybe how to drive a car, just saying. I like them together. And um, on the other hand, it wasn't 11 years wasted because she introduced, or he, Puffy introduced her to a world that she would never know. Because I still, for the life of me, and I, I like you, Cassie, and hi, Puff, but I still don't know what Cassie does except for walk around and look pretty. <laughs> Ray, a former backup dancer for Diddy, shared in a March 2024 Instagram video that she avoided the music producer at all costs. Uh, I have never talked about this publicly, and uh, then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member, like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. Yeah. Years later, they finally came out, and this is a male, uh, Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. Absolutely not. And the internship ended. 
Uh, but from there, I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. You know, we all have stories. Seriously, we all have stories. Mine is horrific and only five people know it. And I probably will never tell it. But it's since then I've been like, yep. And I also am very intimately aware that you tell your truth and you become victimized over and over and over and over and over and over. And mind you, I then interviewed him many times. <laughs> There's, I have a lot of stories, y'all. I've been in Hollywood for 25 years, maybe longer, 30. I got a lot of stories. Unfortunately, um, maybe I'll write a book one day, but it just is so traumatizing that women just wanna live every day and feel safe. And when we revisit and revisit, we live in a state of victimhood and nobody wants to live there. So for those of you who are like, why didn't you say something then? Because we just wanna live, we wanna be happy, and we really wanna forget the trauma. So there's that. What he has done to these people will be with him forever.